Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about making a basic file manager using the FileMan plugin, which is available for download in the description. Once FileMan is loaded into your plugins folder of your project or engine, just go ahead and click your project and let's get started. To make sure everything's installed properly, go into the plugins folder and scroll all the way down to blueprints. Inside of the blueprints, you should see FileMan right here and just click enable, make sure it's enabled, restart your project and you should be set. Anyway, back to it. Let's see what we're actually working with. Uh, in the level blueprint, I'm just going to delete everything and we'll select file man. We have four nodes right here. Uh, delete, get all files in path, read, and write. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the files in a path, and then we're going to expose them on the screen so that we can see them, edit them, and delete them. So uh, to do that, I'm going to find a good path. So let's go back into our files. Uh, this is actually the origin point that the plugin looks for. Uh, in a packaged game, this origin point is actually the step up from the root directory. So you'll have your exe file, and then you have a folder that is called your project name. Inside that project folder, that is the root. But inside of the engine, when we're working as a project, this project directory is the root. So what that means is we're going to go ahead and create a folder called stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and just put a file or two in here. Three text files, just for testing. Uh, let's go ahead and get everything. Get files and path. The path is just going to be stuff. Remember, that is the beginning of the root. That starts here, then it goes to stuff, and then it gets the three of the files that are in there. So, for each, we'll bring our begin playback, and we'll just print the string. This will print the names of the files. There they are. So if we're actually making a file manager, uh, we're going to want to make some UI. So in my UI section, I'm going to go ahead and create a UI that's going to be called file manager. Quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type overlay. We're going to make our file manager inside of an overlay, and the overlay is going to be centered in the middle of the screen. I'll use an image for the background. Just drag that into the overlay and size it to fit horizontally and vertically while setting the color to whatever color you want. Next I'm going to add a scroll box. This scroll box is going to be the parent component for where we actually spawn in our files. Uh, just go ahead and set that to the same settings where horizontally fills and we'll set a padding of maybe 24 each. And on the top we're going to do something a little bit extra. We'll go ahead and set this to 100. I'm going to wrap this image with a horizontal box and then I'm going to throw a text box into the horizontal box so we can actually select our directory. We'll center it, fill it, and then fill this horizontally so we have a big text box to work with. And we'll try to make that look a little bit more pretty in a second. But first, what we're going to have to do is when the text is committed, which means when you press enter or commit in any other way, which we're going to use enter by switch, we'll get the files in the path. And then if this exists, branch on enter will create those files in the scroll box. Now, before we do that, we have to actually make child first. File. I'm just going to call it file. And we'll just load some text. Set it to a good size. Create widget. And this widget is going to have a name in the variables. File name. Set that to string. And we want to make sure this is instance editable and exposed on spawn compile, save, and grab our file using that file name. Now, what it needs to do is it needs to add this to the scroll box component. So we'll say scrolly is our variable. We'll take scrolly, get it, and add child. Well, what do we want to add? We want to add the widget that was just created, so the name of that. One last thing, when we enter in new directories, what's going to happen is it's going to add everything. Uh, so before anything happens here, what I'm actually going to do is clear the children so we can always have a nice refreshed UI. In my level blueprint, I'm just going to create that widget. Get our file manager widget, add to viewport, and then we can launch our game. So now that we're in here, we'll just type stuff, press enter. There's our text blocks. I forgot to actually bind those to the file name. Um, when this is constructed, we'll take our text, which we're going to create a variable out of, We'll take that variable and then we set our text to the text. There we go. When it's constructed, it sets that to what the value of the string is, converts that to the text, and then 
we should be able to visualize the actual files. So let's go ahead, stuff. There we go, our file names. Let's type source. There's our source files. Let's type content. And there's our content files. I'm gonna try to do some prettying up of the file manager before I get into editing and deleting. We'll go ahead into our file and make a reference to the file manager which it comes from. Call it parent. Do the same thing that you did with the file name and expose it on spawn. Now we have a parent section in our file widget. We'll go ahead and set this to self. Now with this, you'll see what I do next. I'm gonna create a custom event. Call it refresh. Set that to these. And for our actual text value, what we're gonna get is, we'll drag all of this out. Create a variable called path. We'll set this to the path. And then we run our refresh. Clean this up a bit. Now it should refresh when we press enter, which means we can go into our files. When we do hit delete, it'll delete those accurately. And next up, we're going to go into our file. Like I said, I'm going to try to make it look nice. I'm going to make a button that goes over top of this. Something I like to do with buttons is just take the opacity down. Now we have a button that looks like this. That's how we'll edit them, but how are we going to delete them? Make another button. Orient it to the right, which is way over here. <laughs> Get some nice looking text. Set the text to delete. And let's see what that looks like. So I have a little delete button on the side. Just did a little bit of cleaning up here. That looks pretty nice. And now we're pretty much ready to go. So this delete, what we're going to do, we're just going to set this up real fast. When it's clicked, we're going to delete that file. So take our parent, get the path, and then we're going to append the path to the file name. And simply, we just type delete file. Once it is deleted, We'll branch, then go back to the parent, and then we're going to call our refresh. That way it refreshes the files to see that that file is now gone. So in our stuff, and I'm actually going to bring this up on the Windows. Here are our files in Windows. We're going to delete this file using the deletion. We click delete. It's now gone. We go back to Windows. It's also gone. So that's how deleting works. Let's go into actually editing. I'm just going to make a small text box multi-line text box that's going to go on this side. And we'll use this for editing the text. Uh, it's initially going to be set to invisible though, so hidden. When the file is clicked, we'll get our button. And we'll reveal that, which is going to be called uh, multi-line editable text. Get multi-line. And set the visibility to visible. Okay, now that that's done, we'll go ahead and read the file. And we'll set this text to the content of the file. And then when it's pressed, when enter is pressed, so we, we will bind on text committed, create a custom event, save text, we'll save text, or write file, my bad. We will write the content to the file name. Now, before we do anything, I actually just realized our file name um, is just going to save to the root. So what we have to do first is get our path. Uh, the path actually comes from the parent, so we get our path. We have to do that append again. Put your slash, then your file name, and then you save. Now, going in here, we should have something decent. Stuff. Click this. Type hello world. This is a test. I press enter. Um, Actually, technically, when this is commit, uh, we'll just click off of it because that's a better commit method than using um, enter. That doesn't show up, though, for some reason. Let me see why. Okay, yeah, so you need to actually drag down here. That's why. That was my issue. I was actually pulling the file without the path name. I, that always throws me off as having the path there. But anyway, yeah, going back in here. Stuff. Let's open this back up. Hello. I press enter. Whatever. I pull off of that. I go back in. It still says hello. I click off. It should disappear. We'll say goodbye in this one. Enter again doesn't do that. <laughs> but when we actually open these, they open 
accordingly. That's a basic file manager inside of Unreal. That is how you would go about doing that. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy the plugin. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and definitely check out that plugin in the description. I will see you guys next time.